Hello! <laughs> it's so weird. Hello! 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 <laughs> Welcome back to another video, another show and tell um, for Adele merch. I recently posted a video a few weeks back of all the merch I've collected from the new 30 era and had a request to show off some things from previous eras. So I have a few items from 19 and 21, but a lot of these things I'm going to be sharing are from 25. So that's why I titled the video 25. Um, but then there's some bits and pieces from before that I want to share and I'm going to be sharing like um, Adele, like official merch because I've collected some other things that are kind of by association, um, but I'm just gonna be sharing the Dell brand. So like I said in my previous video, I love watching like hauls and videos where people explain and show off their things, um, but I know that that kind of culture is a little bit exclusive. Not everyone can purchase, either they're out of the country and don't have access or they financially can't get these things. So I just wanted to say that um, a lot of these things I've collected over the years, like because there's so many years in between Adele's gaps, it's easier to collect these items um, years or months later because they're cheaper, because people are reselling them after they're done with them. Um, so a lot of the items I'm gonna be showing were not paid for full price. So that's nice, and I suggest that. Um, I've been collecting these items for a few years now, um, but I've been a fan of Adele for over a decade and made it easy to collect these items. Okay, I'm starting over because I've made a mess. and. It's a mess in here, I know. Okay, so I'm gonna start with music. Um, obviously have the CDs 19, 21, and 25. Um, and then 25 I have the Target exclusive. It's got the bonus tracks, Can't Let Go, Lay Me Down, and Why Do You Love Me? And I love these songs. Why Do You Love Me is one of my favorites. They're just good songs, okay. I'm going on and then they're matching vinyl my records 25 21 and 19 and i'm seeing that these are really hard to find now people are snatching them up but this was my basically my first records from my collection um was was adele i'm not a huge fan of collecting seven inch like 45 records but i had to get hometown glory because i love this cover it comes with hometown glory on one side and then fool that i am live on the other side and then skyfall so um skyfall cd and then the record store day exclusive um has skyfall and skyfall instrumental so i love these and then the live at royal albert hall cd and dvd i really hope that they do something like this for her residency i think that would be amazing and people would just eat it up because so many people weren't able to go um i mentioned in my last video that the following week was going to be the like pre-sale i didn't get tickets i hope that you got tickets and that the scalpers didn't all get them i guess it makes sense to go on to tour next because that's where most of my merch came from i don't think that she released a lot of merch with her album i think it was mostly from tour and then it was available throughout her her gap or her like absence one of my favorite adele items that i own i have not displayed it yet because um, i can't commit to anything um is the ticket so i purchased through adele.com i had my pre-sale code and yada yada i um, was able to get tickets one of the lucky ones and had to pick it up at box office before the show came in this envelope and then this was what was inside the envelope it says adele it's all shiny and then you pull this out it's the same color as 25. Looks more orange on camera, I think. Um, but you open it up and your ticket's inside. It says, um, welcome to your evening with Adele. And then it says, thank you for purchasing tickets through Adele.com. Have any questions about your order, email, help it, whatever. So I want to put this on display with the confetti and have something amazing on my wall. Speaking of confetti, she had 10 different pieces of writing that they printed on both sides of the confetti. It says we could have had it all. And <laughs> this was at the end of the show. And I scooped, like I literally grabbed a whole armful of it and shoved it in my bag. So I have a bunch um, and I love this. I'm gonna put it on display someday. 
Um, but then she also has, in the tour program, has some of that handwritten notes. So this is what it looks like. One side is eyes open, one side eyes closed. And this is what it looked like when you walked in the concert. Her eyes were closed with that iconic 25 era eyes. Um, and then once the tour, once the show was about to start, her eyes opened and the music shifted and then she came up through the ground from the other side of the like the main stage and when she came up oh my gosh and then she she said hello from the other side and spun around towards the big stage where i was closer to and i just started bawling like <laughs> there's adele who um anyway um so it says adele on the inside a bunch of pictures handwritten handwritten note on the inside that obviously printed not handwritten but some things um, the poster, the program, I think one of the notebooks, um, different items that she was selling had handwritten notes in them or were autographed. So I think this is where they signed on the tour program. A um, bunch of cool pictures. And then there's some notes with her handwriting. Gorgeous pictures and then all of her, kind of like a credits page, all the people on tour with her. Yeah, and then I'll insert a clip about the poster that I purchased. So this one I have framed. It's the Adele Live 2016 tour. And she had, for each of her shows, each date actually, she had one of a kind or like unique posters. So Adele, and then there's the Space Needle because I saw her in Seattle. July 26, 2016, and they were all numbered so I had number 36 and I actually made my purchases outside because I didn't want to carry them around inside um so I had my my mom and my aunt were there with me because they went with my cousin and it gave them the the purchases so then they could take it back to the car while we went in I brought that up for a reason the items that they had on tour some of them were signed and the signed items were only on the inside so I think that's why I brought that up because they had some signed posters and tour books and i didn't get that what else okay so in like i mentioned i have had some resale items and one of them was the vip concert like ticket package and it came with a bag it says adele live 2016 and inside of it was a blanket that says adele live 2016 and you can still find these online like people are still selling them i think they're probably more because she's back um but it says and I wish it was easier to read. But it says Adele Live 2016 in the middle of it. And it's real cute. I love it. Also with that came this lithograph. Adele. And then Live 2016 in the corner. So I need to put that on the wall as well. I just can't commit. Um, she also had a hat. It says A on it. Love it. I'm not really much of a hat wearer because I have a big head. Don't know why I'm sharing that with the internet though. Okay, um, throughout her kind of break, she still had her shop up. So I purchased this, that same look. It's a makeup bag and inside I keep the compact mirror that's like holographic. That's fun. And then these, like a sleep mask. That's real cute. Um, also purchased this mug. I don't drink tea out of basically any other mug. I use mostly just this one. It says hello, and then hello from the other side. And then she had some other mugs and some other things. She had um, a notebook and some pencils, um, a phone case, a bracelet, all kinds of other cool things that I didn't purchase day of and couldn't find online. So that's everything in front of me. I bought in high school about this Rolling Stone poster so I have that um, I have my magazine collection so this is kind of my Adele corner um, I have the records and then all the magazines since my last video I got the face and then Rolling Stone and then the UK Rolling Stone is also on the way and go find the other things Okay, so back in high school, I had an Adele shirt and I kicked myself for not keeping it, but I found this one online. It says Hometown Glory on it, and this is from before her shop changed over to the 25 era, and she had some gorgeous things, but I just love this print. 
And then this is what I got on the tour. I picked up the, the shirt, the program, and the poster day of, and everything else I've bought since then, like resale. Um, got a couple sizes in that one. The Hello shirt I purchased so that I could wear for my 25th birthday, because it says 25 on the back. And then I bought this one because I saw the long sleeve at the show, but this one didn't have the dates on it, so I had to buy another long sleeve that I have on right now. Um, and then that same print, it's kind of a little bit different color, but then this one has the dates on the back in red, so I love that. So I think that, that was all the other things. Um, gives you an idea of, of what she had before 30. It was a lot of like black and white, um, really cool classy like the, the eyes. It's kind of an iconic era. Um, so I'm really excited to see what else she has for Weekends with Adele, what kind of merch she'll have for that. Hopefully she'll have it online <laughs> so we can get it even though if we didn't get tickets. I don't know how that works. I've never been to a residency before but what I've seen, it looks like you people on the outside that like don't have tickets can get merch. Let me know if you know. Um, but that's all of the pre-30 era things that I own that are like Adele brand. Um, and I love them. I use them all the time. I need to put some things on display, but I can't commit to, like I want UV proof glass or whatever. So it's, but I did put this one up because it's not in direct sunlight. So one of my most prized possessions. <laughs> okay, um, let me know if you have any questions about any of these items. If you have anything that I showed, let me know how you like it. Um, if you have anything else, there are definitely other items that I did not purchase, but I just picked out kind of like my favorite items because there were a lot of items in 25. Um, the notebook, the pencils, the, all the other things, other shirts, lots of fun things. Okay, thanks for watching another video.